Caffeine is a bitter substance that occurs naturally in more than 60 plants including coffee beans, tea leaves, cola nuts which are used to flavor soft drinks colas, cacao pods which are used to make chocolate products. There is also synthetic or man-made caffeine which is added to some medicines, foods, and drinks. For example, some pen relievers cold medicines and over-the-counter medicines for alertness contain synthetic caffeine. So do energy drinks and energy boosting gums and snacks. First, open tea bags by removing the staple, trying to not tear the paper. Second, weigh the total contents to the nearest milligram and record this weight. Place the tea back into the bags and tie it. In a baker that contained 30 ml of deionized water, add 2 gram of anhydrous sodium carbonate. Place the tea bags into the beaker. And if the tea bags rise out, push the tea bags down using a glass stirring rod. Decant the hot liquid into a 50 ml Erlenmeyer flask. Transfer the tea extra from the early mayor flask to the separatory funnel that is supported by the ring stem. After recrystallization, we collected 12.4 gram of extracted caffeine from the tea. 12.4 gram. Weigh 0 0.5 gram of anhydrous sodium sulfate. Add 
0.5 gram of anhydrous sodium sulfate to the combined dichloromethane extracts in the 50 ml beaker. Decant the liquid from the beaker into a glass container. Place the container on a hot plate and when the volume of material in the container is between 3 and 5 ml, start adding petroleum ether. When the solution in the container begins to get cloudy, remove the beaker from the heat and allow it to cool. Observe for many crystallization. We choose to set up this experiment and we are interested in the alkaloid, caffeine which is very common substance in many drinks such as coffee, tea, coca-cola, etc. At first, we extract caffeine from tea, then we need to prove that extraction contains caffeine. Finally, we try to find out the amount of caffeine in tea. All the tests can be done in school laboratory and caffeine is bought for verifying and investigating this chemical test. We hope that this test can be further developed in order to become more popular, more efficient, lower the cost, and less pollute the environment. Caffeine is an organic compound that is found in tea leaves and coffee beans. It is a basic substance due to the nitrogen atoms in its structure and it appears as a white crystalline room temperature. This experiment, we aim to extract caffeine from the tea leaves in the tea bags provided with a solid to liquid extraction method and then a liquid to liquid extraction. In this experiment, our main objective is to isolate, purify, and characterize caffeine from tea bag. Sodium carbonate is added to the extraction medium to ensure that the acidic components in the tea leaves remain water-soluble and that caffeine is the free base. When dichloromethane was added to extract caffeine from the aqueous solution, two immiscible layers found, an organic and aqueous layer. Then by using chemical tests to analysis the amount of caffeine in tea and extract. We were successful in extracting caffeine from tea bags but based on the percentage yield, we were not successful in extracting a large amount of caffeine. The mixed solvent method that recrystallizes the caffeine, thus not getting a higher percentage yield because not all of the caffeine precipitated out. In this lab, we had to find the percent of caffeine in a tea bag. Throughout the lab, we encountered a few difficulties and problems that could have raised our percent error. When we put the tea bags in the beaker, it was punctured by the tightness of the strap. We need to repeat it in order to resolve the problem. In this experiment, our group was able to experience what it's like to use extraction as a method of separation. To know how to reconstruct and use the distillation setup for the separation of volatile substances from non-volatile ones, and also to know the boiling point of the liquid used in the experiment and to gather the skills in isolating the caffeine from the tea and usage of chemical laboratory for handling plant samples. 